You're not doing the right thing anymore. It's such a terrible way to be. One of the greatest to ever do it, Oscar Robertson, joining us right now. The greatest shot blocker in the history of the game of basketball is Matumbo. I saw, I know you've blocked a lot of shots, but you mentioned two guys. One is Bill Russell. Pat Fitzgerald is with us here, the head coach at Northwestern. Nobody sweats worse than I do on a golf course, so I think you and I could be a help force if we get a fight. <laughs> we would be a force of worth of sweat, just the two of us. <laughs> the biggest names in sports come here, and it all starts weekday mornings with Keyshawn, J. Will, and Max, and continues all day. This is ESPN Radio. Hey, hello, Gino. What college site did you see the most beautiful woman? That's a phenomenal question, Gino, and if I answer yeah. that, I'm immediately going to get fired. Paul Feinbaum, weekdays at 3 Eastern on the ESPN app and the SEC Network. Have you or a loved one experienced one or more of the following symptoms? Elevated heart rate or unexpected feelings of euphoria on Monday nights? Inability to focus on work during waivers? The urge to overuse acronyms like PPR? Confusion caused by rostering players you swore you'd never root for? Only in fantasy does football season come with side effects. Only in fantasy, only on ESPN. Play the number one fantasy game. Sign up now at ESPN.com slash fantasy football. Insights provided by IBM Watson. Did you miss Canty and Carlin? As LeBron James continues to age and gets into the twilight of his career, Anthony Davis would take the torch and become the guy with the L.A. Lakers. The question is, will A.D. be able to hold up? I'm sorry, I just don't trust it. I just don't believe that we can assign that level of health to Anthony Davis based on what we've seen for the last three seasons. And I feel like my skepticism is warranted given the track record. Canty and Carlin, weekdays on ESPN Radio and on ESPN+. Plus. Center all night on ESPN Radio and on the ESPN app. Here's Jim Basquiat. And ESPN Radio is presented by Progressive Insurance. Get renters insurance to protect things that make your place a home, including coverage for theft or damage. Visit progressive.com. Half hour headlines on Sports Center all night. And again, our top stories the Braves take three or four from the Mets. First division series, New York has lost all season. Vlad Jr. and the Jays bomb the Yanks in the Bronx. The Astros offense explodes in the White Sox. And Deshaun Watson now knows how many games he'll be suspended for the coming season. We have breaking news coming in right now. We have an 11 game suspension for Deshaun Watson, $5 million fine. Both sides are giving up something here, which really is the idea of any settlement. Watson's camp really felt like they had no other choice. They still stand by the fact that they are denying all of this. I'm moving on with my career and my life, and I'll continue to stand on my innocence. Just because, you know, settlements and things like that happen doesn't mean that a person is guilty for anything. Deshaun Watson suspended 11 games, a violation of the NFL's personal conduct policy following the accusations of sexual misconduct made against him by two dozen women. The league appealed the original six-game suspension. Watson also agreed to the ban and a $5 million fine in the settlement. He will undergo mandatory evaluation by behavioral experts and follow their Suggested treatment program. Watson said in a statement he takes accountability for his decisions made. His focus going forward is working to become the best version of himself on and off the field. He had this on what he'll do while serving that suspension. I mean, it's a tough situation, but at the end of the day, I have to continue to make sure that I'm around as much as possible.